What is the 80-20 rule in business? The business management consultant, Joseph Giron, made the assertion in 1941 that 80% of effects come from 20% of the causes. Giron dubbed the principle Pareto's principle after the Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who observed that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. While the Pareto Principle has seen a few decades pass since its inception, the theory behind the principle is timeless. Some business examples of the Pareto Principle are 80% of your profits come from 20% of your key customers. 80% of your sales come from 20% of your key products or services. 80% of your successful campaigns will come from only 20% of your advertising. 20% of your sales force will produce 80% of your sales, etc. But the big question is, do business people really focus on the 20% customers? You see, not all customers are created equal. 20% customers generate almost 80% of your revenue. Let's call the 20% as your ideal customers. Let us consider the 80-20 rule in your customer ratio to understand how this can help your business. Almost all business people know who their customers are, but very few pay attention to who their ideal customer is. In every business, their ideal customers who are the backbone of business. It is easy to find out who your ideal customer is. Your ideal customer is someone who is very happy with your products and services. He or she not only religiously and repeatedly use your products, but also bring in more customers to you. Ideal customers are excited about your new offerings. They are the ones who will grab your products the very moment they are launched. They are your raving fans. Every successful business has ideal customers or raving fans. They keep coming back to you for more. If you look into your total business revenue, you can find the 20% group known as the key accounts. It is not the customers you lack in business. What you lack is the number of ideal customers who belong to the 20% group, which is responsible for your 80% profits. Imagine if you can increase your ideal customers to 100%, then your business will grow almost four times. Many customers who are in the bracket of 80% can be converted into your ideal customer base or you could extend your marketing to reach out to more new ideal customers. If you're selling products and services, identify the 20% of your customer base that is bringing in 80% of your profits and strengthen your relationships with them and enhance the products and services they are investing the most. Try to make sense of your ideal customers. Find out the commonality that binds the ideal customer base and reach out to more ideal customers and you will see your business grow. Similarly, if you can use this rule, it will help you to have clarity on other areas like managing people or team, customer service, sales, business development, etc. If you have any additional suggestions or tools, please feel free to share in comments or write to us. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe.